Hi guys, it's CC, and today I have my third quarter empties. I see a little fly by. It's literally trash day around here, so I kind of wanted to get these out of here. Pure You Made Simple Mask. If you remember Philosophy from the Day, um, that was the Great Mystery, I believe. Love it. It is great for um, dryness on skin. It's great for sunburn. It's great for oiliness and breakouts. It's really, I would say if I had a number one mask to use, I think I see, I think this one works the absolute best. And uh, if you ever want to see a um, mask video from me, um, that's something I'm thinking about. Um, Neutrogena fragrance free hand cream. The, these two products actually look very similar. They kind of look like a Vaseline and uh, I use that every night and I try to use it at work also. A small bottle of Purity Made Simple Cleanser, my hands down favorite cleanser. I use it every evening to take off makeup and cleanse my skin. Kind of a one um, step process and uh, I usually have, I had a big bottle too, there might even be some more, but I had a 32 ounce bottle that I was using and then I'm kind of going through some sample sizes. The white version of Glam Glow, which, oh, you guys, I can't read this. This is the one, the black one was the original. I think the white one came out. And this is the one that helps with breakouts. And I think that is absolutely the best one. Another bottle of Purity. Um, a black sugar honey mask that was from Alta, like on the drugstore side. It was good, but I want to talk about that later. A um, full size of Renewed Hope in the Jar from Philosophy. Um, n not my, I don't have an absolute favorite moisturizer, but this is definitely one that I use a lot. My absolute favorite primer these days is the Hangover RX from um, Too Faced Replenishing Face Primer. I think that is the best primer I've ever used. This was Maracuja, Maracuja Sea Brightener for Under Eyes from Tarte. Nice eye cream. Um, maybe not my absolute favorite, but a nice one. This is a hair oil um, anti-breakage serum for normal to weak hair from Suave, and this one says that it's the biotin infusion. I use something like that every night after my shower um, in my wet hair, and I kind of just let my wet hair dry. One of my favorite all-time um, eye creams, Hope in a Tube from Philosophy. I love that. You could kind of use it as an eye mask, also just by a little bit of a thicker layer under there. And you can also use it over your um, makeup, and it really doesn't um, move it around or anything and just gives you some replenishment there even though it's a very thick cream so living proof perfect hair day this is something you use like in the shower um, wait what's it called actually in shower styler I didn't I don't know I got that free I don't think it worked Estee Lauder revitalizing supreme light anti-aging cream and this gold tube getting some glare from the windows being open um it's okay I, I i wouldn't buy that again renewed hope in a jar night i like this i like that a lot um 3d filler mask from dr brandt oh i used it all up i use a little bit of that including today which you probably are like does it really work i don't know but i use it like right here in those 11s and this was a Needles No More, same kind of thing, um, sample size, instant wrinkle relaxing cream. You know, if I'd use this more regularly, it's very expensive. Um, I might feel a little bit of something from that. It might work. Ultimate Miracle Worker um, Anti-Aging Cream from Philosophy. I'm using up a lot of samples these days, but that's one I like a lot. Um... Well, here's the original Glam Glow mask. It's okay. You know, I had it. I used it. Um, I don't know where the other part to this is. Um, Dream Mud Overnight kind of cream. It came in two parts. I think it just fell down there. Um, I 
feel like this clogs up my pores or makes me break out or something. The pink shade of the Naked um, Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I always use that to brighten up my face, and I like it. I don't, I don't know I'm gonna, that I'm going to rush out to buy it again, but... Dr. Jart's Water Drop. This was an interesting cream. I, don't, I doubt there's anything in here. It's, it comes out in a clump. It's very lightweight. It disappears out of, almost immediately, but it does give a lot of moisture, so kind of one of those things. Clinique. This was a Clinique eye cream. Um, this is good. I like it a lot. Rose face mask from um, Fresh. Pretty good. Something I like a lot. Uh, actually, something I don't know. It's supposed to be hydrating and I don't find it to be the best product ever. I don't know. Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. Not really for me. Same with this, um, Hello Fab Coconut Skin Soothing Priming Moisturizer. They're very similar, actually, very similar. Um, I really didn't like them that much. Another concealer I used up, I've been kind of making a concentrated effort to do so, is the Makeup Forever HD. This was in the shade R20. Um, it's okay, it's okay. Hypnos Drama Mascara from Lancome. I, this was not that good for me. I, it was flaking. I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Pear Cream. I use this on my face when I'm dry. And I used it all up. It took about a year, actually. And I, I kind of alternate it. I use it, you know, to kind of save it for when I'm most dry. But I think that's good. And I, I will continue to use that. Um, Josie Moran, Argan Oil Light. Use this in the summer, the regular in the winter, or I don't see a whole lot of difference between them, so it really doesn't matter which one I use. Tree Hot Sugar um, Scrub, Shea Sugar Scrub in the Tropical Mango. Excellent, excellent scent, excellent product. I have two palettes in here, and no one else wanted them. One was from Tarte. They're just getting kind of old, and I, I did get a lot of good use out of that. And the other one is really one of my favorites, but I just feel like it's it's getting old also. And um, it's not closing right anymore. This was from now three holidays ago from Smashbox. This was gorgeous. It worked really well. It's just, it's not closing well anymore. And it's time to get rid of it, I guess. Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. Um, I think this clogged my skin up as well. I had a 14 days of samples for it, and I think it clogged up my skin. From First Day Beauty, the Ultra Repair Cream, um, Sleeping Mask, Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream. Really like this. I would definitely use that at night again. Definitely. Um, this was Glam Glow, and the label's worn off. It's like the oil to cream, and it's got a little bit of scrubbies in it. I'll use it when I have a sample, but it's not really my favorite. Lights, camera, splashes from Tarte. You know what? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't like this one. There was something wrong with that one, too. Something I use. It, this took a while, but um, from Philosophy, the One Hope Is Not Enough serum. Pretty much my favorite serum that I use. It Cosmetics Universal Taupe Brow Cream really just to write up. I think these are great. I think they're excellent, um, but they don't last more than maybe six months, and they just get really dry. But I feel like they um, add a little bit of something to your skin. This is a great um, mask um, for your hair. Almond and Shea Butter from Suave. Really good, it makes your hair really soft and really, really good. Stress Relief um, Body Cream from Bath, Bath & Body Works. This was something I kept in here every night and enjoyed using. Pure Grace Shower Gel. Not my favorite scent um, from Philosophy. I like Amazing Grace. I like Unconditional Love. Full Size of the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. Um, I like this night cream a lot. Hope in a Jar Night. Maybe even better than the Renewed Hope in the Jar, which is the you know the extra newer 
type thing. By Fischel from Lancome. Um, eye makeup remover, probably the best one I've ever tried. I use this, oh gosh, this probably lasted me six weeks. The TLC Cramboose Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. This little sample, which was five mils, um, lasted me probably six weeks, maybe even eight. Um, but I didn't notice any difference in my skin. I liked it. Another um, brow that uh, dried up, even though it's in a tiny package. Just didn't work well. Um, from Josie Moran, the Nirvana Hydrating Treatment Mist. This is okay. I didn't think it did anything special. I really love the um, Smashbox one the best, the primer water. Ah, Amazing Grace in full size. Um, from Bare Minerals, Bare Skin, Sheer Sun, it was a sample. I really used it probably over a year. I'd mix a little drop in with um, foundation when my skin was, you know, getting slightly darker because I don't get that much darker. Um, that's really how I use that. Um, from Philosophy, I always have one of these in my car. I have one in my purse. I have one here at my makeup station. I kind of have them everywhere. Um, and this was the uh, Sandia Rita Margarita scent. Had a green tint to it, so it would be mostly when I wasn't going out anywhere, but I love those. Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. Um, any of these samples that I can get from Dr. Brandt, I really love to use every once in a while. Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. I really think these help my brows grow. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit. Another Argan Oil Light. From Alginist Power Wrinkle Fighter Eye Serum. I thought that was good. I have a few different eye serums that I'm going through to see what I like the best. And uh, we'll see. Laura Mercier Lip Gloss. Totally started leaking out and getting gross. Here's the other half of the Dream Mud from Glam Glow that I didn't like. Anna Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, that's just... Oh, that's my favorite, really. And this was a good product, too. Kale and spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid, um, mo moisture sir uh, moisturizer from Youth to the People. Yeah. Very good moisturizer. I would definitely consider buying that if I could, you know, get it in a kit or something. Um, probably like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> probably like that bigger, better than any other, um moisturizer lately that I've tried so um, that's really it if you have any questions on any of these products let me know I'm gonna try to do something with um, some honey products um, that I've been kind of saving um, honey and pumpkin and sometimes they mix those together but I'd like to it is fall now and I think this would be a good time to do that uh, maybe talk about some of the products I have and what I think of them. Because some of them are extremely good. And some are just like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> so thank you so much. Please leave a comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. And thank you so much for joining me today.